Hi, I'm John and welcome to another of my animation tutorial videos. I'm very excited today because this is the first time that I'm using Toon Boom Harmony to do a video. So yes, I've now moved from Animate to Harmony and we'll be using this from now on. Um, and to kind of celebrate that, I thought I'd do a new series with you uh, where I'm going to draw and rig a character from scratch. Um, so it's going to probably take quite a few videos, but hopefully you'll enjoy them all. And I'll go through all the details about using how to use deforms and cutters and all this sort of stuff. Um, but in this video, I'm just going to start by drawing the character using the line tools. Um, and I thought it'd be really cool to do a minion. Now, I, lo I love the minions, and obviously the new movie comes out soon. So I thought it'd be just, just, just for fun, I'll, I'll, I'll do a minion for you. Um, so here's my imported image, just got this off the internet. And I'm going to be um, basically rigging him based on this on this design. Um, so I've obviously imported him onto one layer. I've then created another a new drawing layer called Minion down here, and I'm going to start um, sketching him out for you in this video. Um, if it was my character, I'd use one layer, and I'd, I'd use the brush tool, and I'd sketch out using the brush tool, and then on an, on a separate layer, I'd go over with the line tools for the finished artwork. But as we've got this image already, um, I'll skip out the sketching section and just go into the line work. And to do that, I'm going to be using the poly line tool, which is this one under over here, underneath the line option. You can select that and go down to poly line. Um, there's a few tools that I quite like to do. First of all, I like to press K, which turns on the uh, point line. So if I just show you, if I draw a line here, with K pressed, these when you're not selecting the line, the little points at the end appear. If I press K again, it turns them off. Um, this can come in really handy when you use the other tool, which is a snap to contour. So under your, when you've got that selected, under your tool properties, you've got this button here, which is snap to contour, which is currently turned on. When that is turned on, you can zoom in with this K button, you see, and you can click straight on that last point and carry on drawing, rather than having to manually fiddle with it. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just sort of draw this out as fast as I can for you. I'll probably speed it up because it'll take me about 20 minutes to do um, using the polyline, the line and the ellipse tool um, and then I will stop occasionally as I need to explain certain things to you. Um, but I'll crack on with that and I'll be back with you shortly. <laughs> Apart from having a crash halfway through, I had to redraw the pocket and the legs, which you probably noticed. Um, I think he's almost done now. So that's the basic gist. I've also, I've also got to add the eyeballs and the arms. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the other um, minion on this side, just to make sure that everything's in the right proportion. Because obviously the, the other pitch is looking in the wrong direction. So the eyes are simply going to be three little circles, and I'll just take those and move them across to my other minion, to my drawing. I'm not being too worried about exactly where they're positioned for now, just getting the rough drawing in place. Let's turn that off for a sec. 
That's his eyes. And now his arms as well. When you, I'm planning on using the deform tools for his arms. Um, so when you're doing things that are going to be de deformed, it's best to make sure that they're done straight. So it's always draw things that you're, you plan to, to deform straight first, whether it's a tail or legs or arms or hair or whatever it might be. Try and draw it straight first. Um, so again, for that one, I'm going to use this. Um, sorry, hang on. I'm going to use this minion for um, the arms. So I'll crack on with that and come back to you again in a second. Okay, so I've got my arm now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that over to this side and spin it around so that it's reasonably straight. Stick it in position roughly where it will join. And I'm going to copy, paste that, and then uh, transform it and flip it horizontally and then bring it over here. So now we've got two arms that are pretty much the same, or exactly the same. So that's the basic pen lines of the minion. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start working on the hair. Um, so again, let's turn that back on again, and I'll start drawing the hair out and come back to you in a second. Okay, so the hair is now basically in. It um, looks a bit samey though. Obviously, well, with the picture underneath, um, it start the hair starts fat where it joins the head and gets thinner. So I want to try and do that with my minion. Um, so the way to do that is to when you're creating using pen lines, is to use is to select the um, pencil editor, and then you can zoom in, and just drag these points at the end into each other and it makes a nice sharp point much more like the minion image that we've got underneath so I'll do that on all of those and also at the bottom you want to make them a bit fatter so we'll just drag these out and make them a bit chunkier at the bottom and then we've got much you know much more sort of natural looking hair so there we go so it starts fat and then gets thin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of those apart from the body part. Again, and I'm going to copy and paste, and then I'm going to flip that over and drag it over to this place. So then we've got two lots of hair. So now if I get rid of that image for a second, save it because there's another have another crash. We've now basically got the Penned lined, the pen lines of our minion. The only thing left to do now is to get rid of these extra lines. You see where I've just gone. I haven't gone too detailed. I've gone just around the outside of the body. I need, I need to get rid of these lines. And to do that, use the cutter tool, um, which is here. And you just literally select the cutter tool and then swipe over the bit that you don't want, like that, and it, and it gets rid of the line. Uh, so I will just go around, getting rid of all the bits that I don't need. Sometimes, I mean, it's really an amazing tool. I'm not sure it was, it was in, in the animate version that I used to use. It's not always perfect, but on the whole, you can it, come on, it does work really, really well. I've just realized I haven't added his button, so I'll do that before I um, say goodbye for this video. So, again, this, this needs a little bit of tidying up down here, so I will turn on my point thing with the K button and then drag all these in so they line up nicely. It's quite important that the lines do cross or meet perfectly so that when you go to colour there's no gaps. So that's where the that um, snap to contour comes in really handy. A few more to get rid of on his wrists. There and there. Okay, so there he is. I'll now just add his buttons in because I forgot to do that. So just save. I really don't want to be doing this again. And we'll just create some buttons for him. So 
So again, copy, paste, and then we'll use the flip on horizontal. Come on, computer, don't crash on me. Does that do it or not? No, so we'll try again. Copy, paste, flip. Drag that over here. Okay, so our minion is all drawn and ready for colouring. Um, so that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed it, and in the next video I will colour him. I plan to use a, a kind of 2D flat colour, but I'm hoping to use a texture for his um, overalls. So that should be quite good fun. Um, so thanks for watching, and uh, please do subscribe for uh, future videos that I'm going to make. And if you have any comments or any um, feedback or any even any sort of video requests, then please let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to answer you ASAP. Okay, so thanks for watching. All right, bye for now.